posing. Okay. <laughs> then the next bit is, well, here's the list of things the urgent care centre does, which we've got by set of us, that's great. And here's the list of things it will do for me. Spring, spinal burns, cuts, bruises, infections, x-rays. I pull off the ladder, it's fairly obvious I've moved from my arm, if I'm lucky my wife might help me. And she'd say, right, let's go to the AP. Well, where do I go? It, it doesn't, it hasn't really explained anything. So it seems to be vitally missing what you now do if you're not on this little list. Like, I don't know, if it's a heart attack, or it might not be a heart attack, but something that's significant, but it's not a sprain, a mind burn, a cut, an infection, an extra, <coughs> it's a cancer complex point. And it seems to me, as it stands, this is very unhelpful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just confirm that my earlier answer as well, because this is one of the parts. tonight is I don't understand why some communication could start on the 28th of July in advance of meetings which were supposed to sign off the assurance uh, and make a final decision that the nuclear board meet on. So some things could start before that uh, to have an impact that is absolutely consistent 
nobody seems to have taken on board the points that the public made over and over again, mm -hmm. both sides of the council, when the original treaty or health for the future uh, consultation began in the middle of the summer and the Olympics, that this is not a good time to try to engage with people. So why couldn't you start it earlier, um, given that you were only going to go and go to the Friends of Italy trial? We talk about advertising in the media, well, which media are you going to use to advertise in in-house that you couldn't, we don't have a local paper. Uh, if you're leaving, you might be able to pick up the supplement about us. So it doesn't seem to me that you've actually tailored this particularly well uh, to the borough in which Chancellor Hospital sits. Um, but please convince me you have. And please could somebody answer my question again about communication that I asked earlier about cancer services at Charing Cross when I was told uh, it would be answered later. Please can I have your answer? Um, in terms of, of what media, where we're going, um, right, since the, the Fulham Hunter uh, Chronicle just closed, um, that, that doesn't give us um, a local paper in Hampton. This is the, the presentation that we've, we've given, and had we had a bit more time, I would have kind of explained more on that one, was because it's a joint communications plan across central Middlesex and Hammersmith um, changes, um, there, there are papers which are more relevant there. But that means that what we've tried to do is very much look at, okay, so do we need to um, upweight the number, increase the number of, of billboards and, um, and bus stop shelters that we have in Hammersmith and Fulham to ensure that, that residents um, aren't, uh, you know, th there's no kind of like bias against them because they're, they're not in Durham and they can pay more. So we have looked very carefully at, at that. And again, I'm, I'm happy to share the exact media by and um, exact locations of where will be um, the, the outdoor advert to be and everything else that um, I think it's probably something that, that does, as you say, warrant a bit more time um, to look at the detail of it. And I'm, if, if we share the full communications plan, which has got the media by and everything else in it, and um, the list of all the community groups going out with, then perhaps there's a, a bit more of an opportunity to get some, some sort of two-way feedback on that. And, and I, I appreciate that point, but I still think the public is going to be very confused about Your key message uh, is still going to be misunderstood by people, and they're going to need professionals to interpret for them where they should go. And um, as I said, we, the leaflet that we will have is is going to be very accessible, and it's going to have more information on this, on um, what an urgent care centre is, what an A and E is, um, and I, I hope that would address your point. But again, I'm, I'm happy to, to share that with you. We have uh, another, another work group which also meets regularly, which is the Equalities and Engagement Group. And it, it's, it's their, their responsibility um, to, to fully, I mean, they, they are the experts in this, to go out and do the engagement and actually reach the hard to reach groups. Um, what we're making sure is we're doing the, uh, the easy read and providing the versions and the materials for them to go out and be able to do that engagement. So, um, again, there are, there are other parts of the presentation where I've, I've gone into a little bit more detail about. Um, what we're doing on hard to reach groups um, and the work we're doing. Um, and I appreciate, yes, we could, we could put that um, further up. I think that's sort of a, uh, where we sort of put the emphasis on what we sort of um, understood that the sort of priority was here at that mark. But um, I'm more than happy to, to share that group 